Hello, Altadena. My name is Isabel. I am the teen librarian for the Altadena Library District. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use Cloud Library. Cloud Library is our main source for ebooks and e audiobooks. It's a digital platform that you can use either on an app based device like your phone or tablet or on a web browser. I'm going to walk you through how to download the app if, on a phone and how to do basic operations in the app like searching for books and downloading books and I'll also show you how it works on a web browser so that you can start reading and listening to all your favorite titles and the favorite titles you haven't even found yet. So let's get started. All right, I'm going to start with showing you how to use Cloud Library on your phone or your tablet, any sort of app based device. Um, I'm using an iPhone, but the process is pretty similar if you have a different model or an Android. Uh, the first step is obviously to download the Cloud Library by Biblioteca app. The logo is a little CL in a little cloud like this. Uh, this is from the App Store here. And then once you have it downloaded, you're going to open. The first option you're going to get here is to select your language. Uh, defaults to English, but if you have another language preference, obviously you can select it here. You can also refine uh, search for books in other languages, but that happens later in the app. This is just the language that you want the uh, main text of the app to be in. So when you selected your language, just tap anywhere on the screen. Now it's going to ask you to so, uh, select your country, region, and library. Since we are in Altadena, we're going to select the United States and California. And then your library, we are conveniently located right at the top of the list here. You can use it for other libraries if you have other library cards. But we're going to go right ahead to the Altadena Library District. I'm going to hit Next. These are some of the user agreements. You can click on any of these buttons to read them. Um, and when you're ready, hit accept. And now it's going to ask you to enter your library card number. If you don't have that on hand, uh, like I had to write it down on my little post-it note here, you can always uh, give us a call or uh, hop on our chat line through our website, provide us with some personal information just so we can verify your identity, and then we'll give you your library card number. And then you're going to type it on in and hit it's going to show you your cards, Altadena Library District. If you have other library cards you want to register with library with Cloud Library, you can do that. It's going to show you details. Notifications is really important. The automatic setting here is to, uh, to turn off email notifications. But if you want to get emails about when your holds are ready or when you need to or when like your loan periods are going to be up, then you're going to enable email notifications and then enter an email address there. I'm going to leave it off for now. Oh, and then always remember to hit save up in the corner there. And it's just going to show you other sort of, you know, analytics, that kind of thing. So here under my books, I currently don't have anything checked out, but if I did, this is where it would show you your current checkouts, any holds, and any books that you've saved because maybe you're interested in checking it out later. The search function is down here at the bottom, and this is what you're going to use probably the first time that you log in when you want to find a book. So it's going to show you when you first come in a bunch of different bookshelves, and these are bookshelves that we, the librarians and staff at the Altadena Library, have sort of curated. So we have a Black Lives Matter book list here, activity books for kids, new adult fiction, adult mysteries, nonfiction. You can scroll through here and see sort of uh, curated lists or new releases. Favorites, set your reading preferences. That's kind of fun. You can say, oh, I really love teens or I really love nonfiction. And you'll set some preferences and it'll show you some like automatic recommendations there. Um, but if you're looking to just search, the, up at the top here is our search bar. Um, and you can enter a author or a title or a keyword. I put in a search for the author John Le Carre. I just typed his name in um, and I got a list here and it says up at the top 13 titles that are available in our cloud library. Now there are a couple different ways that you can sort of search the uh, sort of narrow these results. Um, or So up in the top here, there's an option to sort. 
If you have, say, like a ton of results based on a keyword um, and you want to search by something like the date that they were published, uh, their ratings, or the book title, you can sort the list that way. Um, you can also filter your results. Oh, that's right here. The filter is the, here, I'm going to go back. The filter is that little like funnel shape up there. <laughs> Um, so if you're looking for just an ebook or an audiobook, I feel like those are the ones that I use the most because I, sometimes I just want to see the audiobooks. You can also search by items that are available now that you don't have to place a hold on. You can search for different languages as well. So you can filter your results in a few different ways uh, to get so you don't have to like scroll through every single one in the list. Now, what you're going to see when you look at the titles is two different kinds of buttons here, borrow and hold. So just like a regular library book, we only have a certain number of digital copies. So that's why you see the hold, because maybe we only have one or two of this title available, and if you'd like to request it, you'll still have to place a hold on it. To do that, you're just going to sit, you're going to pop right here. Would you like to receive an email notification? If you've set up your email notifications like I showed you, then you can hit yes or no or okay. I'm going to hit no because I'm just going to check this app every single day to see if it's available. <laughs> so, and that's all that you have to do. It says it's going to be available in 19 days and you can remove the hold if you'd like. If you want something to start immediately, that's where you're going to look for that green borrow button. And all you have to do is tap on it and you are good to go. You can return it if you finished with it early, but don't worry about that because they will automatically be returned when your loan period expires. So you're not gonna incur any late fees from this, even though the Alta Dean Library doesn't have late fees anyway. And here we go, we're into the book. To flip the pages, you're just gonna swipe with your finger like this. At the bottom here, it shows you your page number, the number of pages left in your chapter, if you tap anywhere on the page itself, you're gonna get some options like zoom in. Oh no, that's the search, sorry. <laughs> it looks like a magnifying glass, so you'd think it'd be zoom in. This is if you wanna change sort of any of the reader settings. So if you wanna make the font larger, um, if you wanna change to like sepia or night, night is where the screen is black, the pages are white scroll mode, which is where you just scroll through the book as opposed to swiping. I'm going to go back to day. And then you can also, these three bars here are going to give you the chapter contents. So if you want to skip ahead to a particular part or see sort of where you are in the book, this is really helpful. And if you want to leave your page marker, you're going to do that. That little uh, page page little ribbon. And then when you're done reading, you can hit close. And now that I've borrowed this book, it's going to show up in my books. So if you have a bunch of books checked out, it's going to show you all of them. When you go to read, it's going to take you back to that spot where you left your page, your uh, little ribbon marker there. And you can take it out and add it to the next one or however. It's also now going to show under my holds here that I have a hold waiting on the next book. And if I wanted to save something, let's see, let's see, I'm going through these items, I'm looking at all the other ones. You can also tap on the image of the book itself if you want to know more about it, like, oh, hmm, let me see, when was this, what are the details here, going to give you a little bio about it, or bio, a little synopsis. Um, if I want to save it for later, like, oh, I'm interested in reading this, but I'm not ready for it right now. Then you hit save for later, and now it'll show up here under saved. But you can also click on advanced search here. This is useful if you are looking for more, if you have a more specific request. Say you're looking for, uh, let me see, you know, you can categorize it by, oh, okay, I want teens, nonfiction, and the subject I want is gardening. I don't know. Um, and this will let you do more sort of browsing almost. Um, so you can you could just put in a category and a subject. And then looks like we have one item, <laughs> famous inventors and inventions. 
Um, or say you want to do uh, adult fiction and the subject you're interested in is alternative history. You could search that way and then get a bunch of titles that fit under that uh, those headings. So that's really useful if you don't have an idea in mind of what you want and you're just kind of looking to see a lot of other things. Advanced search is also helpful if you are trying to do a very specific search. So say you're looking for, uh, it doesn't have like a keyword here, um, but say you're looking for something like a book about turtles. Ooh, turtles, yeah, they're gonna spell check it for me. <laughs> um, and you want one that's published, I don't know, last year or something like that. I don't know if we're gonna get anything. There you go. So now you can sort of search it that way. Advanced search is helpful for those two things, doing something much more specific or doing something much more general. All right, next we're gonna walk through how to use the cloud library as a browser in uh, your laptop or your desktop computer. So you're going to start by going to the Altadena Library website, which is altadenalibrary.org. From the home page, you're going to go to Resources, this tab, Resources, and you're going to choose your option Digital Reading and Streaming. I'm going to click on that. It's going to take you to a new page, and you're going to see Cloud Library front and center right here, that red CL Cloud. I'm going to enter, click on the Cloud Library title right there. Um, and it's going to take you to this page, which looks pretty similar to the bookshelf. Well, it looks almost exactly identical to the bookshelves that you saw in the app. Um, and the browser really does work in a lot of the same ways um, in terms of searching, borrowing, placing holds. There are just a couple things that are different in terms of reading your book on a browser. So again, you have the shelves here. You're gonna use this green login button at the top here to enter your library card number. All right, now it says you are logged in and it's gonna show you your card number. And it's just gonna bring you right back to that main page with all the shelves. And again, you have the filters for your searching. You can do, go to your settings. It shows you how you get your notifications again. Um, browse is going to take you to that function that we saw in the app as well, where you can um, favorite your different uh, audiences, your different genres, browse it by mystery and detective, romance, etc. Um, and then when you go up here to my books, is you're where you're going to see anything that you've already checked out. Holds. So here's the John Le Carre book I put on hold on the app. Um, and then again, your saved books. Um, this is a book that I downloaded just a minute ago, um, and when you go to read, it just looks a little different on the browser than it does in the app. So, we're going to click read here. It's going to take a minute to load it up. Alright, so once you are have pulled up your book in your browser, there are just a couple things that work differently here, like I said. To navigate between the pages, you're either going to use the arrow keys on your keyboard, so the left arrow to go back a page, the right arrow to go forward a page, or you can use your mouse and your pointer to click on that far side of the page. So if you click over here on the far left side, it will take you back. If you click over here on the far right side, it will take you forward. You always see this little ribbon here if you wanna drop a bookmark on that page. There you go. Now, if you're wondering how you access like the uh, table of contents or how you go like exit the book, you're going to take your mouse or your pointer and click right in the middle of your screen. That's gonna bring up these bars here. So it shows you the title of the book. Um, it shows you your progress down here and you can actually use this scroller if you click it and drag it to m navigate forward or backwards in the book. Um, it's going to show you how many pages are left in the chapter. And then up here, you have the similar sort of function, the similar functions as you saw in the app. So if you want to change the appearance of the text size, if you just want to see one page at a time as opposed to two pages at a time, 
change it to night or sepia, you can do that. Also, this icon will again bring up all of those chapters for you. Um, it'll show you any bookmarks that you left, page 155. And you can also go to a specific page. So if you want to boop, 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 go to page 162, it'll take you right there. And then the X over here is going to close you out of the reader and take you right back to my books. This has been Cloud Library Navigation, woo, with the Altadena Library District. That's us. If you click here, oh, we're back to our home page. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call us at our main line here or chat with live library staff here. We are available uh, throughout our open hours, which is 10 to 6, um, for any reference questions or tech help that you might need. Stay tuned for more tutorials on some of our other resources so that you can get reading. Thank you for joining us and have a lovely day.